Need some coins to that God Squad you've always wanted? Check out mudpacks.com where you guys can open up exciting packs, win tons of mud coins, and withdraw the coins to your account. Use code Zerk for 15% off. The whole thing wobbing. Steve McNair just came out today, so I had to pick up this new card, who in my opinion is probably the best quarterback in the game, and also why not pick up Antonio Camardi and Vernon Davis, but we're not running Vernon to tight end. He's actually our slot receiver. Now, I do want to give a shout out to Glizzy for being a part of the Noti Gang. If you guys want a chance to shout out in the next video, drop a like in the vid. Make sure you guys are subbed to the channel. Turn notification bell on and comment down below. Noti Gang. Also, guys, I have been on absolute fire the last three days with my NBA picks. Almost 500 hours in W's last night between my dad and I. If you guys want to check out Underdog Fantasy, you can use code ZERK to match first deposit up to $100. And follow me over on Twitter for my NBA picks. They will be up probably shortly after I post this video. Maybe they're already up. Check out my Twitter. As you guys can see, we have Steve McNair in the team who has Slinger 3 release, which in my opinion is the best in the game. 95 speed, 97 acceleration. I do have Legend Scam on him and of course some strat cards. Uh, you can see everything on him looks really good. Running the ball is also really good. 99 break tackle, 98 trucking, 97 juke, 93 carrying. And in terms of abilities, he gets Omaha, of course, here in the X Factor, which I'm running. And then set feet lead for 1 AP, fearless for 1 AP, high route master for 1 AP, and gunslinger for zero that's uh pretty crazy here is team camps and we also have antonio camardi with 99 speed 98 excel 99 man 99 zone 99 press six foot two uh we are rocking out with 68 block shed 81 hit power 72 tackling on him as well love antonio camardi now in terms of abilities though my corners i actually have on the team right now i have dion Tariq woolen and antonio camardi in terms of the abilities that I use, Cromarty is actually the only one that I can put flat zone KO on. So uh, he's actually going to be in the slot today, which he is slot archetype, but I would have preferred to have him on the outside and Dion in the slot. But just the way I run my abilities, I can't do that. So Crow is going to be in the slot, flat zone KO for one AP. Uh, you guys see his other abilities here. Pick artist for zero does get inside shade for one. So if you run man, that is incredible. I run zone coverage though. Here is Team Camps. And as I said, guys, I'm running Vernon Davis actually at wide receiver because that run blocking is atrocious, but I think he's just incredible as a receiver. Six foot three, 99 speed, 98 excel. Uh, great route running. Amazing after the catch as well. So imagine a cornerback trying to tackle this card. It's going to be kind of tough. In terms of abilities, I'm running double me, deep out elite for one AP, route tech for one, and short in for zero AP. And then here is Team Cams. Let's get into this. The NFL season may be over, but there is still a ton of stuff to do on Underdog Fantasy. If you guys didn't know, Underdog Fantasy also has pick'em entries available for the NBA, college basketball, esports, hockey, MLB, MMA, a ton of stuff that you guys can check out and i'm always putting up picks over on my twitter and of course using the pick em entries you guys can go ahead and 20 times your entry if you hit all five picks correct or use the insurance feature which will allow you to still win even if you miss on one now not only does underdog have a bunch of different things you can do for pick -ems, but they also have a bunch of drafts you guys can go and enter the big tournaments enter some of the smaller ones or even start private tournaments where you can invite your friends to play make sure you guys check out underdog fantasy and use code zerk to match first deposit up to hundred dollars and as i said i'm always posting up picks over on my twitter so let's get into this and see what we can do you guys can see that's my opponent's top three still rocking out with tom brady and some middle linebackers okay my top three all right so i'm gonna try my best to get the ball to vernon davis but also you know this is a qb gameplay too so i'm gonna try to get vernon the ball but uh if i force him the ball i'm gonna end up throwing three interceptions so Let's let's try not to do that. Second and five coming up, though. We might go to Gus Edwards out of the backfield. And, yep, he's going to be open. Woo! That's it, man. All right. Let's maybe not do that. But I think I just noticed that he's going to try to jump that again. And, yep, got him just enough. And Vernon Davis is going to be open. If I could have broke that tackle there, we'd have been gone. Honestly, running Vernon Davis out of the slot might be kind of glitchy. I'm going to look to go to him here. If he's going to be open, I have him going on a corner route. He's six foot three. So if I need to, I can always just kind of like chuck up a ball and let him come down with an aggressive catch. So far though, he is out here having quite a game already down to the 16 yard line. 
Might look to go to him here, and nope, he's not going to be open, but Randy Moss is. Obviously, the one issue that I kind of have with the Vernon Davis card is his run blocking, which is why I'm not personally running him at tight end, as I was hoping I could just get his user to sit there for a second. But either which way, I still feel like Vernon is a good card, and like, if you put him at receiver, then the 55 run blocking is still not great, uh, but it is, you know, a little bit better at receiver as, yikes, we had Carmack for a touchdown. And then, obviously, you just have a ton of weight on any DB out there as well as you know the strength and everything I am gonna run the football here since we do have Gus but I do not want to take a hit stick I'll tell you that in for the TD all right so we went down the field and scored pretty quickly now let's see what we're able to do out here defensively as we are gonna have Cromartie and great throw great throw well, he's down to the 49. I'm curious to see, and yep, I was literally just about to say if he's going to try to run, and wow, what's what a bunch of blocks out there. Well, he just got some incredible run blocks right there, as now he's down to the 35, looking out for Gronk, and that's exactly who he decided to throw to. Okay. Now, being down to the 13, I'm kind of expecting another run, and surprisingly not, and he didn't get in. All right, now he's got to be trying to run the football here right at the one yard line and look at John Madden. John Madden just came in screaming right there. Second and goal coming up. I'm going to look out for a quick throw to Gronk and actually, wow. Okay. Um, I wasn't ready for a tackle battle. I'll just say that. I was definitely not ready for a tackle battle there. And uh, Barry just gave me a crazy stiff arm. But we are at the 29-yard line here as we are going to have the other tight end open on the field. So let's see if we're able to push this ball down the field again. We needed at least a field goal before the end of this first half. I'm once again going to look to go to Vernon, who is going to be open. Vernon, toe tap. Let's go. And now I actually have Vernon Davis activated out here with double me. So I'm going to look to go to him. Vernon, one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, listen, he was activated with double me. I had to throw it up, right? Well, I had double me activated with Vernon Davis. And this is a Vernon Davis gameplay. Did you expect me to not want to throw the ball to Vernon? Is that a safety? No. Obviously, Vernon Davis was going to get that football there. It's just unfortunate. It did not work out. Second and one coming up, though. And I'm going to look out for that. And once again, he goes over the middle. But that's a drop. So third down and 11. Let's just see if we are able to get my opponent off the field. Thank you very much. I saw that. Evan Neal with the pick six. So real quick, right? Let's just pretend that Vernon Davis just like one-handed just destroyed Sauce Gardner there. I didn't get a pick six. Vernon Davis, what a play. All right, so we made a great play right there. Uh, unfortunately, though, my opponent had an incredible kick return, and he's already going to be at the 50-yard line as Crow. Oh, if Crow could have got a strip right there. And now we have both Milkman and Maniac lighting up here. So I'm, oh, let's go. Kevin Byard with the forced fumble. Kevin Byard with the forced fumble. Huge play right there. I am once again looking to go to Vernon. Look at him. Wide open over the middle of the field. Let's go, Vernon. After the catch, show off the burners. Why'd you get tackled from the back? I thought we were going to be gone right there, but second and 13 coming up. Uh, we only have 19 seconds. I mean, honestly, I'll take three points here. I definitely will take three points and not be too upset about it, but I would love a TD. My opponent managed to stop us. Fourth and inches. I am going to take my three points here. I will gladly take a 10-point lead heading into the second half. So we've got a 10 point lead let's see if we can make some more plays out here i want to see cromarty come up with a big time play i know he likes to go over the middle on that and i tried to bait him he's ran that play so many times i knew what he was going to go to but i thought i'd be able to get like acrobat to trigger there and uh make a great play is whoo there he is shifty Oh, that's picked. Give me that. Evan Neal all over that. Let's go. So we managed to get the user pick right there. Let's see if we can go down the field one more time here. We're going to be able to quick fire that into Gronk, who's going to break the tackle. Gronk is just too good. Now, I am once again, though, looking to get the ball here to Vernon. Do not take a hit stick. By the way, Vernon Davis right now, six catches, 133 yards. He's having a great game. Let's see if we can get him the ball here one more time as I'm going to look to go to this corner. And why not? Let's give it a shot. Vernon, can you come down with it? He does. Over 150 yards now with Vernon Davis. I'm going to look to go to Gus, though, out of the backfield, who is going to be wide open. And we get the first? Almost. Let's try to run the football here real quick on second down and just see if we can get this first down with Gus, who falls forward for like three yards. So this is going to be quite the play call here, but I'm running an end around to Vernon Davis. 
Will it work? Maybe Vernon Davis get the lead block. Oh, come on. That should have been a TD. And you know what? I've got to get Vernon into the end zone. I have him at fullback, and we're going to run a fullback dive. Oh, he's ready for it. All right, I might actually just force this ball in here. I really, really want to try to get Vernon into the end zone. He's had too good of a game to not get him a TD. So third and goal. Yep, we're going to force it in. Good catch. And that's going to be it. I think my opponent's about to quit out here. Steve McNair, 220 yards. Vernon Davis, almost 200 yards. Cromarty didn't do anything. And honestly, that just happens sometimes with defensive players. You know, they don't get targeted, whatever. He didn't do anything in that gameplay. But McNair, I think, is the best quarterback in the game. Uh, made some release, right-handed, legends cam, great abilities. Pretty much nothing to dislike about this card. Vernon is a good slot receiver, in my opinion, or just a receiver in general. Uh, I'm going to sell him, though. Going back to CeeDee Lamb, but I just picked up the gameplay to show him off a little bit for you guys. Definitely a fun, fun card, though. I hope you guys did enjoy the video, though. And if you did, make sure you guys drop a like video. And, of course, hit that sub button down below. I'll see you guys next time. If you guys enjoyed this video, check out these.